all right i've gotten a lot of comments about people asking how i play um pokemon pocket on pc and the the emulator i use is mumu player and i'll leave this in the description below and i'll pin it in the comments if i remember so pretty much you go on mumuplayer.com you download for windows uh, you can also view all versions um i guess if you're running mac os as well um and then they also have different versions but like i think you want to just do the newest version and once you download it you it will pop up uh how to do your vt which um once you download it, it should take you to the page where you can choose which kind of software you run so i have gigabyte pc and i think it's virtualization i think it's virtualization technology maybe that's what vt stands for but anyways essentially this is just to kind of help you run the the emulator without it crashing and it's kind of depends on like what your motherboard is <clears throat> so they'll have the steps here based on what kind of pc you have one thing i will note is that i did not have to do anything for my pc i'm definitely no no way like a tech person so i won't be able to answer any like specific tech questions in the comments unfortunately um you'll just have to go through the mumu player but i didn't have to do anything I do I, when I looked at other tutorials, you know, other people were recommending to to do this. But what I would do is I would first try to play the game, see if it works, and if not, then I would maybe look at these steps. Um, and what I mean by play the game is when you download Moon Player, there's two things: there's a multi-instant player, and then the actual um, emulator itself. So in this multi-instant player, you can actually have I don't know how many if there's a limit, but like here I have seven, no eight. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven instances. So it's like seven um, Android devices. I don't use all of them. I only use, I think like four of them, but I was just messing around. And here you'd click uh, like a start here and then it will open up the actual uh, player itself. And this is kind of like what your home screen will look like, less the Pokemon TCG Pocket. And to download the Pokemon TCG Pocket, so this is just like uh, an Android phone. Uh, you would go into App Center, and then here you could look up Pokemon TCG Pocket. Click on it, and then you'd hit uh, Install rather than the Open here. And one other thing is, once you install it, you download it. I recommend resetting your computer. Um, what I find is if it doesn't work right when you install pokemon pocket and then you hit play then if you do a reset that's what i that's the only thing i had to do is reset the computer um to play the game i didn't need to have to run any like update my uh my stuff in my bios or anything like that or reboot reboot my pc it was just enough to just reset my computer so again i would try that first download pokemon pocket load it if it doesn't work reset your computer if not then i would go into uh, the VT and you can also find this so once you download it, it should take you to it but you can also find it if you go to support and you go to Moo player help center uh, and then you go click Windows or, or Mac OS and then if you scroll down this is how to start VT if you click expand it has like all the different kinds of PCs here and then last but not least is if you want to run um, the screen to not be the size of an iPhone, but the tablet, you go to settings here. Oh, so another thing too is graphics and rendering mode. You could do Vulcan mode, high performance rendering mode. The game runs with the best stability, smoothness and image quality, or you can do direct X mode. So this is uh, efficiency mode supports for the highest quality graphics quality of many games. So you can also play between these two modes to see like um, what helps. I guess I'm, I'm running direct X and it works. Um, but yeah, but then if you want to change the display, I would go into custom and then do 810 width and 1080 height. And then I think this DPI will just set itself uh, to 202. You save settings. You have to reset, um, this player. So you just close this down and then you'd go back to the Moo Moo multi instant and then you'd run whatever instant you're running. And then now you can play the game, um, jump right in and play on pc so that's as simple as that um you know you can leave questions if, if i do know the answer i can give you a hand uh but again i'm not like 
super techy uh, to answer like specific errors or, or anything like that. But hopefully this helps. Um, but yeah, anyways, take care and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.